So uh, thank you for coming along today, Anna. Um, I know you're a, a consultant andrologist and you work here in London. And we'd just like to ask you a few questions, really, about, I mean, first of all, the one thing I would like to ask is about sort of penile size changes that men might experience as a result of uh, neurological surgery. Thank you, Angela. It's a great pleasure to be here. Uh, in general, following uh, neurological disease or uh, spinal cord injury, what may happen is that the spontaneous uh, erections that men would be getting uh, at night, uh, we call it is called morning erections, but actually each man may get maybe getting four to five uh, sessions each lasting for 20 minutes of spontaneous tumescence and detumescence. That means a sort of an erection, and then the erection goes down. Right. These erections physiologically happen uh, throughout the deep phase of sleep or the REM uh, phase of sleep. Occasionally, uh, when uh, men wake up in the middle of a session, they refer to it as the morning erection. Right. But in reality, they happen throughout the night. So for when those erections stop occurring following an injury, or really it's following any, any of the causes that right. lead to erectile dysfunction, if these erections are not getting, are not occurring, that means that uh, the penis is progressively becoming deprived of blood flow right. which brings growth factors because these nighttime erections their function is to bring oxygenated blood and growth factors to the penis. So so if a man has got any sort of injury that affects erections or disease or has had surgery and he's not getting erections for sex that would also mean he's not getting any nighttime erections. Exactly but what we tend to do is look or address erections for sex mm -hmm. and forget about the nighttime erections. Right. So what will happen, I like to describe it to patients, these nighttime erections, they are like the gym for your penis. Yes. If you're not getting these nighttime erection, erections, your penis will shrink and atrophy. And does that, and would that normally get worse with time? The longer a man... Absolutely, right. and we see that in the population of men who have radical prostatectomy. So even if the nerve has been uh, spared by the robot, initially there's a period of neuropraxia where the nerve is not actually working. So during that period, those men, if they are not, not doing any form of penile rehabilitation, by the time the nerve recovers, yeah. the tissues might have been damaged right. due to the lack of, this, right. uh, of the nighttime erections. So really, we need those nighttime erections in order to bring oxygenated blood and growth factors to the penile muscle. If we are not getting those nighttime erections, what will happen is that the penile muscle will become the deprived of oxygenated blood, growth factors will slowly scar and become atrophic. And it is for that reason that some men might say the, uh, the pill or the sildenafil or Viagra used to work at the beginning, but now it's not working. Uh, have I got used to it? Well, it stops working not because you, you got used to it, but because the problem got worse because of the lack of the nighttime erections. So, so do you also think that more regular treatment, is, if a man's going to have a, a oral treatment for erections, for example, do you think that it's important that they have regular treatments rather than just taking it once a month on demand? Exactly, that's the whole point. So I'm a believer if the pill, the, uh, the phosphodiesterase inhibitor, pills like Viagra, they work, we are better off with daily treatment, of course daily treatment we tend to give very low doses and Tadalafil is the preferred molecule because it has a long uh, half-life. Daily treatment is by far superior to on-demand treatment in terms of maintaining penile health, penile size, penile blood flow. Now, 
in cases where oral treatment does not work, I instruct patients to use another form of penile rehabilitation, such as using the vacuum pump on a daily basis. Vacuum pump bring, bringing oxygenated blood passively in the penis. We, we do that five times a day, for yeah. example. Because um, I've often thought that, that, you know, if you are somebody who's had a spinal injury, for example, and you're taking medication on demand. That, that could be once a month. Yeah, and we don't really, you know, unless you ask how often do you normally have sex, you have no indication as to how often they're taking the medication. Exactly. And if they've got other health issues like pain to deal with or, you know, fatigue, then it might not be as frequently as they did before they had that injury. Exactly. Which absolutely. then would impact on how, exactly. how many nighttime erections they're getting and morning erections. Exactly. So the, the size issue is really because of the shrinking, uh, because of the damage, scarring and shrinking of the penile muscle due to lack of blood supply. It's is that why they always talk about it's not just ED as in erectile dysfunction, it's also endothelial dysfunction? Absolutely, yeah. it is. That, that, that is what it is, lack of nitric oxide production from the endothelium, which uh, that this is simply how weak correction happens, really. Thank you.